It's about time that I expose my cryptocurrency portfolio and let you guys know where I stand with all this, what I have, and where I see it going. So I've normally been making videos about the stock market over the last few years as I've been actively trading for over 10 years myself, but I put up a question on my Instagram story recently. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, who's Bijan T. It's a little subtle plug, I hope you guys don't mind. But I put up a story on my Instagram page asking what other topics would you guys like to see me make videos about and crypto happened to be one of the more popular ones. So shout out to Nick and shout out to Basil and any other names that I might have missed for the video suggestion. And I hope you guys enjoy my perspective on all of this. And before we get started, I'd like to briefly thank today's video sponsor, Emmy, but more on that later. Now, as usual, I'm not telling any of you to get into any of these coins. I'm just showing you what I have and sharing my thoughts about it. We'll call it like a, a show and tell. So we're gonna discuss my entire cryptocurrency investments. We're gonna talk about what I have, how much I have in there, when I got in, which specific coins I got into, which specific coins I'm looking to add into, and some other speculative coins as well. Now there's nothing too crazy going on here. I only have about $40,000 invested in total here because I still see this crypto stuff as like a speculative asset, if you will. Uh, I, I just wanna keep my total risk and my total exposure in the crypto world under a small percentage of my total net worth. I still wanna be in it, but just, just proper risk management. But hopefully it helps to know that who you're listening to has some skin in the game and is actually involved because I know there's a lot of people on here that like to talk about this stuff, but they're not actually invested or have any skin in the game themselves. So let's jump right into it here. We're gonna go in an order, a specific order starting with the main coins, then the non-main coins, than the, the really non-main coins. So let's first go over my Coinbase account. I first started getting into Bitcoin with around $15,000 was my initial investment at the beginning of this year, I believe around January 2nd. Now I've also been involved with Bitcoin before, uh, like in 2017 and 2018, so I'm not completely new to this and I was involved with it before as well. I just wanted to put that idea out there. I, I just wanna talk about the current time right now and like the current portfolio that we're talking about started with 15,000 on January 2nd and it kind of was pieced together between now and then. And we're just gonna go over everything and break it down from here. So right now at the current time of making this video, I have about $23,500 invested in my Coinbase account here with 10,000 of that being in Bitcoin, 5,000 being in Ethereum, 5,000 being in Cardano, and 2,500 being in the Stellar XLM there. Now moving over to my Binance account here, I have about $600 in Ethereum here in my Binance account, but this is gonna be used for another kind of coin investment like SafeMoon or some coin like that, which we're gonna talk more about later in this video. But I'm planning on using the 600 to either buy SafeMoon or another coin like that. So if you guys do have any suggestions or any other coin of that nature that you think would be a better option, please feel free to let me know in the comments below because I'm definitely open to things here. Now moving on, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Emmy. Me, M-E, get it? I, I sponsored this video. I, what the is this? I'm, I'm sorry guys. It was a, a little attempt at a sponsored joke thing. I guess this is why I'm a stock trader and not a comedian, but drop a like for the effort. Maybe we'll get better at it as we move forward here. Now moving on, I have about 13,800 in my Gemini account here with about 8,000 of that being towards Dogecoin and the other 5,000 I have it sitting there in US dollar, which I'm mainly gonna use towards either Bitcoin or towards Dogecoin. I just haven't fully decided yet. And if you guys have any opinion on that, let me know. Actually, let me know what you would do. What would you put that 5,000 towards if you were in my position here? Next, we have Weeble, which I have about $1,000 worth of Dogecoin in my Weeble account there. This is where I made my first step into the Dogecoin market or the Dogecoin investment. I put a small amount and I got into it at an average price of around 27 cents there. Then we have $500 in SafeMoon, which was $1,000, but it's a, it's a volatile market. I made a video on that one. If you wanna check it out, the link will be in the description below. But this is the one that I'm debating on buying more of with that 600 Ethereum that I have in my Binance account. So let me know what you think I should do with that one. If you think I should get SafeMoon or if you think I should get a different coin or whatever your thoughts are. Now in total, we have about $40,000 invested, but of course this can change at any time with the way the volatile market is or how volatile this market is. But at the current time of making this video, that's where we're at. Now in my personal opinion to address the general question of, oh, do you think this Bitcoin is gonna go up to $100,000? I personally do think it will. Um, the Ethereum and the other coins, I think they're gonna go up as well, but I mainly have those as like a form of diversification within this crypto market. And, and even just this whole crypto thing itself is a form of diversification in general and like a protection against just, you know, inflation, the economy, and just like I say, a general form of diversification. I just don't wanna put 
too much in a too high of a percentage of my net worth because it's still a speculative type of a market for lack of a better word here. The other Doge coins and Moon coins and things like that, I see more of like startups. I'm not trying to be a naysayer here. I'm just saying I see those with a lot more risk than the other ones. Hopefully the Reddit people don't blow up on me here. Uh, on my previous video that I made, I made a video about Safe Moon, and everybody started posting, well not everybody, a few people on Reddit started posting trying to get people to attack the video without even watching it, but hopefully that doesn't happen on this one. So now I wanna just briefly look at everything from like a technical and a charting standpoint for you guys and give you guys a little bit of like some uh, key levels and key areas to watch. And I figure it would just be easier to kind of bring you guys onto the computer screen here. So I apologize if there's any change in the audio here. I don't want to waste time going over all the various different coins. So what we're going to do is just go over the main ones such as Bitcoin first, then Ethereum, and then Do the Dogecoin, and then the Safe Moon coin will kind of draw the line there. Um, and of course, if you guys enjoy this little analysis that I do here, obviously I'm not going to get too crazy with it, but let me know and I'll, if there's any other coins you'd like me to look at. Um, I'd be happy to do so as well. Before we jump into it, we're going to go over to the Bitcoin. Now, when I mentioned that I first started like this portfolio in January with 15,000, uh, I just want to clarify that the entire portfolio here, it uh, like it wasn't just built off of just the 15,000. Like I didn't turn the 15,000 into the total 40,000 here. Uh, that was just the start of this portfolio. I wanted to kind of just give that idea. For example, the Gemini account was funded separate, and that's when I was started, you know, buying more Dogecoin, uh, which we'll go over that as well. I have all these little arrows to kind of pinpoint where I got into it and all that. I just wanted to give that little heads up, put that little idea out there that you guys know in case anyone wanted to get upset about that. Uh, but I do plan to add about $5,000 each month into either Bitcoin or Ethereum or something of that nature moving forward uh, as like an, a way of averaging in. And like I said, I still have that 5,000 that I'm gonna put in towards either Bitcoin or Dogecoin or something like that. I'm just waiting for all this stuff to kind of stabilize a little bit. Uh, we'll talk about all the levels that I'm looking at. So to kind of kick it off with Bitcoin, remember I mentioned I first started getting into it around January 2nd. So that's right around this like little clutter here. I kind of saw a little bit of, I guess you wanna give like a technical name, a little bit of a bull flag type thing going on that he broke out of. So that's where I initially wanted to get into this play here. And I believe it was around 28,000 to 30,000 when I first got into it. And I put half into Bitcoin and the other half of that 15,000 I put into Ethereum. And the reason for that is just because again, diversification, things like that. But I also saw, you know, some, I guess you could say some strategical patterns and things like that aligning with the Ethereum. That's when I got into it, like kind of right when it touched down to this blue line here that I have. And obviously I kind of rode out the wave, kind of held it until this point right here is where I added in that $600 that I had in the Binance account. And it was also another same scenario here. I saw it had like a technical flag forming up that it had just broken out of. So just kind of painting a picture for you guys here in terms of the starting here of how I started in January with the 15,000 and then now how we kind of branched out even more on the Ethereum. Now with Bitcoin, I don't think I've added any more. I think just what I bought was kind of where I've sat with the Bitcoin. Um, but again, we're just kind of giving some general thesis and general idea here. On the Bitcoin, like I mentioned, I've been trying to kind of wait for everything to stabilize a little bit before I put that $5,000 in. Now, if I was gonna decide to do it on Bitcoin, I'm mainly trying to see if we can get another dip to the 25,000 area. If we can, then I'm for sure gonna be a buyer there myself. And if not, I just wanna see if we kind of stabilize and start to recover and get back above this at least 40,000 area here. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying this as advice or anything. I'm just kind of painting a picture of what I'm looking to do here. I know some people might say, oh no, don't wait for the dip, it might never happen. Or you're creating FUD by saying there might be a dip, but I'm just letting you guys know what I'm looking at here. And uh, same thing with Ethereum. Again, all these guys, I'm just kind of like waiting for it to stabilize. Now, moving on to talk about Dogecoin. This is where I first got into Dogecoin on my Weeble account there. And this was on around April 23rd, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, or April 24th. Now, I got in it with the average price of around 27 cents. That's when I first got into Dogecoin. And then obviously it kind of skyrocketed from there and I continued to hold what I had, but I decided I would now like to add into the position because of the fact that we're dipping down. You know, I usually don't like to buy things when they're at their highs or just ripping up here. So I wanted to wait for a dip and that's where I realized, okay, I can start adding in. Um, I, I believe right around the 50 cents is where I added in some and then I added in a little more, a little lower. And then 
Uh, recently, I added in more around the May 23rd, I believe right around 30 cents or 35 cents, something like that. My average price of all of these is around 40 cents on the Dogecoin. So I have some at 27 cents and then the rest on the Gemini account is on the average at around 40 cents there. And then like I mentioned, I'm just waiting for things to stabilize a little bit and I'm gonna either put that 5,000 into Dogecoin or Bitcoin or something of that nature. And that's pretty much that on the Dogecoin idea here now. Let's jump over now to SafeMoon, which I know ironically, I just said that I don't like to get into things when they're at their highs, but Safe Moon, I, I I pretty much got into it at the top. I don't I don't even want to go back and look at what exact day I got in. Let's just say this was me up here that I bought up here, and I I mean I even knew when I was looking at the chart. So I gave in and I said, all right, I'll get some of this Safe Moon. Obviously, I'm looking at the chart of it and I'm thinking to myself, like I don't know, man, the way the way my bank account's set up is telling me to stay away. But you know, I got to give into the hype a little bit. Everyone else is doing it. So I wanted to kind of be part of the fun. I knew it was way too high. But the problem with this is it doesn't have much like history to look at even looking at like on this different chart might be a little bit easier to look at. It doesn't really have much to go back on. So I'm, I'm I was kind of like, Alright, well, you know what, let me just get in it to get in it. I put a really small amount. Hopefully you guys can see what I mean by a small amount compared to even everything else I have in general on all of my crypto here in general, not just in general of life, but I'm saying like, look at what a small percentage of my total crypto portfolio went to the safe moon. So that, that's just the idea that I wanted to put out there is that even when I got in it, I knew that it was way too high and I usually don't like to chase things. Um, and, and like I said, even looking at the chart, I knew, but I just decided that I wanted to continue moving forward with it. And it's just easier to look at it on this chart for the shorter term timeframes. Um, and that, that's really it. I just decided to go forward with it. And that's kind of where I'm at. And now I'm kind of debating on if I should buy more now that we kind of dip down to this area. Um, I mean, ideally, I'd like to see it give us maybe a little bit more of a dip down to here. Um, or just kind of recover back above that bunch of zeros in a five area. But I'm not really looking at this safe moon from a technical standpoint like I was with all these other ones here. This one's more like a gamble, like a lotto. Like If it happens, it happens. At least we were involved. At least we were here. At least we were at the party. Um, and if not, then hey, such is life. But I am considering buying in a little bit more on this, but that's pretty much that on the technical side of everything here. Again, I didn't want to do everything and all the coins and all of that and all the XLM and all that ADA and everything else. If you guys want to hear more from me on this stuff, let me know. I just try not to bore people too much. But that pretty much wraps up this video here, guys. If you're still here, please be so kind. Subscribe, drop a like, and don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you think I should do with that 600 in Ethereum and what I should put that $5,000 towards as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.